Bank of Copy is a feature that can be used to make duplicate versions of your bank app data to secondary storage or location. The copied data is usually of the same version, size, and type as your original bank app data and can be used to restore the bank app data from any accidental deletion and corruption. While copying the bank apps to secondary storage, we can consider it as on-site copy. And copying a secondary location, we consider it as off-site copy for disaster recovery. To set up an on-site bank app copy, here are some prerequisites. Your Vinchin bank app server should add with bank app copy storage. If not, please add one from the resources storage screen. Here, I have already added an NFS storage for an on-site backup copy. And a backup job should be created. Let's check from the Monitor Center job screen. I've already got a backup job created. OK, so now I can create an on-site backup copy job. Let's go to the backup copy, copy page, and follow the four-step wizard to create a copy job. Step 1. Select the copy source. I'll select the bank app job as copy source as I wish the copy job to run along with the bank app job. Step two, set up the copy schedules. If you wish the bank app copy to run regularly as per the bank app job runs, please set copy as scheduled. Otherwise, set once of copy to run the copy job for only once. As for the schedule of the copy job, it is recommended to run the copy job right after the bank up job finished. For example, the bank up job runs at 11 p.m. each day, and it takes approximately two hours to complete the bank up job. So you can set the copy job to start three or four hours later than the bank up job. Step three, advanced strategy. Set onset copy destination. Let's select a local copy storage. Set transmission strategy, encrypted transmission, and compressed transfer are optional. Set retention policy. The retention policy for bank up copy job works independently with the retention policy of the bank up jobs. For example, the bank up job gets a one month retention time, but you can set another retention time for the copy job, less or more than a month. Step four, review and confirm the job settings. Let's click on Submit to create the job. When a copy job is created, in the job list, it is in pending state, and it will run according to the specified time schedules. For testing purposes, let's manually start the job. After a successful bank app copy job session, you should get the same copy of your bank apps in the copy storage. Let's check the bank app data and the copy data. As we can see, we get the same copy of the bank apps in the copy storage. So, in case of bank app storage failure, the VMs can be restored using the copy data. And as we can see, the onset copy data can be used for full VM restore. Instant restore. And also granular restore. And that's all for on-site copy. Next, I'll demonstrate to you how to set up an off-site copy. To set up an off-site copy, here are some prerequisites. Point one, your primary site Vinchin Bank of Server should be at least licensed with the standard edition license. The remote site Vinchin Bank of Server does not require a paid license. Point two, a bank app job must be created on the primary Vinchin bank app server before creating a copy job. Point three, 
the remote side must have a Vengeance Bank Hub server installed, and an on-site Bank Hub copy storage must be added. Point four: the primary side and remote side should be interconnected via dedicated connection or VPN connection. If there is a firewall, service ports. 30050 and 30051 needs to be accessible on the remote side Vinching Bank Hub server. If the connection goes directly through internet, the remote side must have a dedicated public IP address. And on the remote side firewall or router, the service ports 30050 and 30051 needs to be open for the remote side Vinching Bank Hub server. Point five. Bandwidth between two sites must be fast enough to transfer new bank hub data generated during the previous copy job session to the next copy job session. Now let's begin with the configurations. Here I have already installed a Vinching bank hub server on the remote side, and the local copy storage has been added. Let's go back to the primary side Vinching Bank Hub server and go to the Resources Storage screen. Add Offsite Storage. Use the IP address and Web Admin user credentials to add the Offsite Storage. When the Offsite Storage is connected, you are ready to copy your bank hubs to a remote site for DR. So next, let's set up an offsite copy job. Similar to the setup of the onsite copy job, the only difference is in step three, where you need to choose the offsite storage as a copy destination. The job is created now. Let's manually run it. Okay, you can see the job is completed, and let's check the copy data on both sides. Here is the primary side, and as we can see, the copy data is on offsite storage. And here is the remote side, and the copy data is local. In case the local bank hubs on the primary side are lost, the offsite copy data cannot be used to restore VMs on the primary side directly. A copy restore job needs to be created to first retrieve the offsite copy data to local storage on the primary side Vinching Bank Hub server. Then use the retrieve the data to restore VMs on the primary side. Mm -hmm. To create a copy restore job, please do it on Bank Hub Copy Copy Restore page. Please follow the four-step wizard to create the job. First, to select the restore resource. If you wish to retrieve all copy data back to the primary site, please select a group by VMs. By selecting a VM, this copy restore job will retrieve all copy data of the selected VM. If you wish to retrieve some specific restore points only, Please select the group by restore points and then select the desired restore points. After selecting the restore source, next, the local storage needs to be selected to restore the retrieved copy data. After this, set up the copy strategy and review the job settings and submit the creation of this job. The copy restore job will run automatically after the job creation. When completed, you will be able to see the retrieve the copy data on Bank Hub Copy Copy Data page. Behind the copy restore job name, it will be marked which job has been deleted. As the restore job will only run once, after that it will be automatically deleted from the job list. With the restored copy data, you are able to perform full VM restore.
Instant VM Restore Granular Restore on your primary site virtual platform. You can not only retrieve the copy data from the remote site and restore the VMs on the local virtualization platform. If you have a virtual platform on the remote site, and even if the virtual platform is not authorized with any license key, you are still able to add the virtual platform to Vinching Backup Server and restore VMs directly using the copy data from the primary site. In this case, if there's any site disaster on the primary site, you can restore your production VMs on the remote site for disaster recovery. Let's take a look at the remote site Vinching Backup Server. Here's the copy data from the primary site. I got a virtual platform that is not authorized. Even though I can still use the copy data to create a VM restore job to restore VMs to my remote site virtual platform for disaster recovery. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.